Hello, hello, this is Debbie Drum and welcome to the weekly workshop mini where I give you actionable content about passive income with content. How do you get that passive income with content? And how do you keep that constant? How do you keep the traffic coming in? And that traffic component is what we're gonna be talking about today. It's your constant never ending traffic plan. Before we get started though, if you're on the replay watching on YouTube, YouTube, please go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. I always love to hear from you and see you. Today, we're going to be talking about internet shows. What you want to do is create some kind of internet presence because we have all these different tools at our fingertips and all these different ways that we can communicate with people and how do we use them to our advantage to get traffic. So what we're going to discuss is we want to choose the right medium for our personality. We want to commit to something and take action. We want to be consistent. We want to have a schedule. And I'll give you some examples on how to get this going. The goal is that people will start to adapt to your schedule and they will start looking forward to your scheduled program. I'm going to give you just three steps that, that you can start your internet show. Number one is you want to choose your thing, right? What's your thing? Do you like to write? Do you like to speak? Do you like video? Do you like images? What do you feel more comfortable doing? Or what do you want to feel comfortable doing? Because not everything we're going to just jump into and be like, yep, we're ready. For example, I wanted to be good with video, but there was a time when I was like really not and I had to get comfortable with looking into the camera staring at that record light and knowing what to say or being prepared in putting together a nice concise presentation or training so that people would watch it and learn. This is a list of places that you can actually do a recorded or a live show. So you have to choose where you feel more comfortable or you might want to get out of your comfort zone and then choose where you want to do your show. So you can do it on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, you can do a podcast, you can do even a blog. If you're more comfortable with writing, then you can just say every however many days or every week, every month, I'm going to publish a new article or whatever blog post on your blog and make it consistent. So you can do a newsletter, which you should already be doing. You can do webinars. Basically, you're choosing a platform that you might already have followers on or you want to grow or you want to see grow and you want to put your time, effort, and energy into something that's going to, you know, that's going to last forever. Like, let me give you an example here. Periscope used to be a thing, but it's not really a thing anymore. Who knew that it wouldn't be a thing anymore? And nobody really can predict that. But if you're putting your eggs in a YouTube basket or Facebook or Instagram, even podcasts, or even your own blog, a newsletter, or even webinars, there's a good chance that that's still going to be around in two years, five years, even 10 years. Okay, so you don't really want to go with a no name type of thing. Not really sure what's going to happen to it. Like, for instance, like Snapchat, right? I don't even know how to use Snapchat. I have an idea. I've never used it. I know a lot of younger people use Snapchat. I know that it lasts only for 24 hours. Not the best place to grow a content business. Step number two is you want to commit to a time and a place every Tuesday at 9 a.m every Friday at 3 p.m. or 5 p.m. if I... So I do mine on Fridays. I change the time sometimes, but consistently every Friday I've been doing these live sessions. I post to different places, which I'll talk to you about in a little bit. But the point is, is that you want to commit to a time and a place or a day and a place. So this could be ongoing forever till you decide to stop. This could be a set period of time, like 30 days, every day, every other day, whatever it is. Um, you wanna get people used to your schedule, get people to look forward to your show, 
and you want you want people who are like addicted to you so for instance there are certain podcasts that people love certain netflix shows that people love they can't wait till they come out or they get depressed when it's over right that's the kind of thing that you want to create you want to create that ambiance around your stuff so you could do something like a 30-day challenge i've done before i had a consistent show on every friday I used to do things like a 30 day challenge where every single day I got in front of a the camera then did a video about the topic that I was talking about. Challenges are an amazing way to not only get momentum and get people following you, but you could also get people to do them along with you as well. So I just actually did a, a challenge with a product where I was like, we're gonna create a journal live in four sessions in four weeks so by the end of four weeks we're going to have a journal that is complete and you can think of anything you want for these challenges that have to do with your niche so creating a show is just an example you want to name your show give it a character give it character make it memorable make it unique make people look forward to your show this used to be this is one one of my first shows it was called debbie does and then i had a topic like figuring stuff out so that was one of my shows it had like theme song to it and it was just some personality that I started to do. And that's when I started to really realize the power of having something like an internet show of what I'm sharing with you today. Step number three is you need to take action, right? You just need to uh, pick the medium, pick a time, day, and then do it. So five rules for your show that you must follow. Rule number one, you want to obviously gain listeners. Your goal is to get people to subscribe to your show, gain listeners and followers. This is not going to happen overnight. So you want to be consistent and get people to kind of jump on board. Now, what you want to do is you want to leverage the platform that your show is on. You can leverage that platform because that platform will help you along. What does that mean? If you're doing a show on YouTube and you get people to subscribe, YouTube will notify people that you have a new show or that you have a new video they'll notify people that are subscribed to your channel that you're live same thing with Facebook Facebook well for the most part notifies people who tend to go to your live session so they kind of weed out the people who actually follow you versus maybe they join your group but they're not necessarily following what you're doing right so they kind of know who is who when it comes to followers versus not so much followers right you want to leverage that platform let that platform work for you rule number two is preparation you need to be prepared for your show don't ramble on you want to have purpose you want to give value because you want to keep your viewers you don't have to strive to perfection but you should be prepared and uh, should have a nice format of what you want to teach what you want to talk about and then where you want to send people after rule number three is just make sure your idea is viable okay so make sure that you can have conversations about your idea for your show over and 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 over again because if you want to have some kind of consecutive show that you do on a whatever it is time basis you want to have constant ideas of new things that you can talk about you never want to run out of ideas you just want it to be easy so that it's not a struggle every time you put on a show rule number four is you want to have a call to action uh, you don't always have to be selling something but you're always selling yourself so whether you're telling people to subscribe or like or comment or go to a website or uh, watch another video or subscribe to a newsletter or get a free gift or buy a product whatever it is you need to incorporate that in into your presentation. And rule number five is you want to remind people to tune in next time, right? Say, hey, today's Friday. I did, this is what we talked about. Join me next Friday. This is what we're going to talk about then or 
make sure that you subscribe so you never miss an episode, things like that. Don't assume people are just gonna do it no matter who you are. So everything needs to be planned, everything needs to be prepared, and everything needs to kind of link together so that you have a constant tr stream of traffic ongoing always forever because you're linking everything together and you're continuously putting out new content. The golden rule though is to have some guts. It's not very easy doing a Facebook Live. It's not very easy going on a webinar all the time and having to present and having to get everything set up and, and getting everything organized and then having to put a presentation together and then lead people to getting into you and digging the stuff that you have to say. Whatever it is you do, as long as you do it, have the guts to do it because if it's not you, somebody else will do it. And I would like to invite you to this masterclass that I actually ran all about how to automate your content for distribution and maximum exposure. So a lot of stuff I talk about today, the content part, but how do you distribute that in an organized, systematic manner where it's hands off for you? That's at devdrum.com slash masterclass one live that goes back into me talking about how i use the live content that i do every day and distribute that content for even more exposure so remember you want to pick something and leverage it and have it work for you and put your eggs in a basket that will be there for years and years to come like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, podcasts, a blog, newsletters, growing an email list, webinars. Those are the types of things that are going to be sticking around and they're not some like fly by night thing. You know, we never know what's going to happen, obviously, with Facebook and Instagram, but they've kind of proven the test of time and they're also getting bigger and bigger and Instagram is having like IGTV and lives and stories and Facebook owns Instagram, Google owns YouTube. So these are the things you really want to maybe put at the top of your list. And if other things kind of come on board, we never know what's going to happen. If anything, you want to be repurposing your content to these other places if they kind of blow up and become something where people are, are actually there and interacting and posting content and things like that. All right, so it was really cool hanging with everyone today. We had a lot of fun sharing how to get constant traffic, commit to it, take action, do it, grow your following, and you will see that over time, you will get constant traffic and your following will grow. All right, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.